Hey everyone, welcome to George's Library. My name is George and today I want to talk about A Man's Place by Annie Ernaux. The more I explore Annie Ernaux's writing, the more I discover new fragments of herself. And the more I discover new fragments of herself, the more I add to my own fragments. In A Man's Place, Ernaux is set on creating a complete and detailed portrait of a human being, specifically her father. And the distance formed between a father and his daughter by rising from one social class to another. The book's focus is, nonetheless, on building the complete biography of a man who began his life on a farm and rose to become first a soldier, then a factory laborer, and finally the owner of a modest grocery cafe shop. It is a nuanced psychological portrait composed entirely of observations and facts of a man who worked to improve the life he and his family inhabited without ever ceasing to see that life from the perspective of the boy who had woken up at dawn to milk the cows. Meanwhile, his daughter was gradually moving into social, economic, and psychic territory from which it was possible indeed unavoidable to see her father's worldview, his manners, his style, his language, and every small and large thing about him from a growing distance from which he too was painfully aware of. Ernaud has a meticulous quality of writing and a meticulous quality of thought. The result is a logical, rational, cool-headed narrative about a very emotional subject, the life and death of a parent. I highly recommend A Man's Place. It is one of the most moving books you can read. This book is among the most subtle, compressed, understated, engrossing, delicate, and thoughtful books ever written about family, about class, about growing up, and leaving home. Thanks for listening. I hope you will enjoy the read of this particular novel. Until then, I wish you to stay safe, be kind, and keep on reading. See you next time.